Put it out the coop in the lot. Put it for a 12 for a swat. Pussing all the bells out the box. I just hit a leaf with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. What's up guys, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a full session of me coaching Basil. Basil is a good friend of mine and he has a tryout coming up in a couple months. So some of his goals were just to get back into better shape and to be as prepared as possible for this tryout because it is a professional team that he's trying out for. He has been having some ongoing injuries. So, you know, we're trying to ease back in as slowly as possible, but you know, obviously we have like not a very long time frame. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all the drills we did and take you along throughout the whole session. So if you find this video any if you find any benefit in this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. So let's get started. So the first thing that I had Basil do was some ball mastery skills and the only difference of this ball master skills from what I do is that now we added some multitasking. So what I had was I would put out my hand and he would have to call out the number that I had raised up. So if I had five fingers up, he would call out five. And if I had three fingers up, he would have called three, etc. So I had him do each ball mastery skill for about 60 seconds. And the thing to focus on is when you're go coming back from an injury or just, you know, let's say you just haven't played in a long time, it's really important that you don't focus too much on the fitness aspect, but focus on just trying to get as many touches on the ball. And that's what I'm really trying to emphasize for Brazil because I'm not really focused on the fitness because he's going to be getting that fitness while doing these drills because he's going to be putting a lot of effort and focus into each one of these drills and it's going to be almost like he is doing fitness so as he gets more and more comfortable with the ball is being less tired uh, then yes nice then we'll start yes. you know adding those nice look, you know fitness specific Good. drills but after we did the Beautiful. ball mastery skills yep. we went into a straight Good line touch. cone drill with a little bit of a, a 10 yard acceleration Ooh. and one of the strong suits of Basil is his dribbling and it's always been one of his things that he doesn't really need to work on go. he's just, just been very good at dribbling Lucky, so save, after this save. session he actually realized what he really needed to work on uh, which was really great for not only myself but for him as well to see what you know he wants to good. focus on good. but all I had him do was Beautiful. do all the you know the yeah. dribbling drills that I did uh, the outside inside single foot the drag backs and uh, just making sure that he got a lot of touches nice and, and this not, like, got him nice really light, gassed like out by the end of this entire pack. session he he was dead which is exactly what i want Boom, because touch. i just yep. wanted him to get lots of touches and you know Excellent. i really want him to get as many One touches time. as yes. possible at the end of each session because that's what's going to really help him at the end of the day because yeah like if he's fit but doesn't have a Great good touch job. and can't dribble, then I, I feel like that's, you know, that's I, yeah. I, I, that defeats the purpose of all these training. So Excellent touches. after we did the straight line cone drill, one to a zigzag line cone drill, yeah. I had him do several different variations of this drill that, you know, I've personally did in one yeah. of my other videos that you can check out. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. But, you yeah. know, I really wanted him to, you know, just practice as um all i wanted him to do was practice as many different moves as possible both feet just getting lots of touches like i mentioned before i think that's something that i'm gonna, going to be repeating very frequently throughout this video is just touches 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 because the more touches he gets on the ball the more comfortable he will be just having the ball at his feet which is going to be super beneficial since he hasn't you know trained in a while for a couple of months so we're going to ease back into it and just you know it's like yeah, riding a bike bro. you never forget it we're yeah, just kind of getting that rust off you know the metal and he should be you know back in his prime in the next couple of weeks so i told them not to get frustrated because for a lot of us the people that end up getting hurt or they're out of shape going back into you know playing soccer we kind of know already where we were in terms of like our level so a lot of us get really frustrated at ourselves and that's normal because that's like an athlete's mentality you know we expect you know to hit it up or 90 but i try to tell i try to tell basil that like look I, I know i know you're a great player 
you just have to realize that you know you've been hurt for a long time and that in the next couple of weeks i promise you you'll be back to like normal hitting those upper 90s it's just that you gotta stay consistent with it make sure you get plenty of rest take care of yourself what do the you know the exercises that the physical therapist had you doing the stretching the mobility because those things are very important in recovering and making sure that you stay in good health so sorry for rambling off but the next drill that we did was more of a position specific drill just working on his finishing so what i would do is i would play him a driven ball he would be out wide he'd control it he would then accelerate about five to ten yards and then he would zigzag through these cones he would then take a touch to set himself up and then finish with his left because i really want him to work on his weak foot because you know i don't want him to have a weak foot what like when he goes to his tryout whatever side they put him on i don't want him to like you know feel like he needs to be on a certain side what whatever position or side they put him on right back or left back i want him to be able to finish with both feet so this is me going through it just showing you how it looks like but you're going to control it accelerate take a nice small control touch zigzag through your cones then take making sure that you take a big touch to set yourself up for that shot and then score and if I had a little bit more space and time, I would, the only different thing I would have done with this drill is that I would also give him the option to take it down the line and to cross it to somebody. Because as a wing back, you're going to have to cross it or you're either going to take it inside for a shot or pass. So I just want him to, you know, work on some finishing because I think that's, you know, super beneficial because a wing back is also a winger. So. You know, it's also good to work on your defending, your distribution, and also your finishing as well because you're going to have those opportunities where you can get a shot off. But, you know, that's pretty much it for this drill. And uh, Basil did a really good job. Um, you know, obviously needs a lot more work, but I told him, like, like I said earlier in the session like try not to expect too much because you're just coming back into it but after the next couple weeks I told him it'll be much more easier and uh, so the next and final drill that we did was like a little competition between Basil and I and this is just working on switching the ball working on our, on our distribution of the ball switching sides all we did was you know someone passed the ball to us and then we would have to play a long ball or a driven ball out to one of the small goals and this was just a fun little game you know also working on your accuracy of your passes and making sure it's weighted well so for me personally I, I hate doing this I just feel like when there's a person standing there I could play it right to his foot but the moment like I have to play it into like a small goal I feel like I get nervous and I just end up not hitting it within the target but that's pretty much the entire session i hope you guys enjoyed that i know it's nothing special but i promise you i'll be you know putting out some better content and uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and thank you guys for all the support i've been getting i greatly greatly appreciate every single one of you and i just want to you know help as many of you guys as possible so stay tuned i'm going to be posting a lot more frequently i'm building a really good schedule and uh yeah I, I i read all your comments so you know if you want to see a certain drill or anything specific just comment down below don't be shy and i promise you i'll probably make a video based off that so thank you guys again i hope everyone has a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next video they think that we lost our minds well maybe we did maybe that's just how we live maybe that's all that we want maybe it is what it is Cause we're just living our life That's the life we're living We're just living our life That's the life